<laughs> Subscribe and showcase. Team people, I'm here today on the DOG's channel as part of his subscriber showcase. So let me just say quickly thank you to the DOG for posting this commentary of mine on your channel. It's massively appreciated. Oh, and let me let me just say quickly, I'll be posting um, a gameplay from the DOG on my channel uh, soon too as well. Just doing a little sort of gameplay dissection. So uh, come check that out if you've got some time. Otherwise, the, the DRG's channel is all about helping people improve in Call of Duty. You know, with these sort of map uh, spawns, videos, uh, callouts and so on. And my channel has an element of that too. I recently uploaded four videos on something which many people struggle with. And that's aiming. You know, aiming in Call of Duty. This commentary is about seven or eight minutes long, so please stick with me. Because I promise you, it will help you if that's something you're trying to do, improve your aim. We all used to be noobs at one time or another. I know I was 100% noob. So don't feel bad if you're new to the game, but what I'm hoping to do little by little is help those noobs become competitive players in Call of Duty. Turn camping noobs into actual players because if they can aim properly, then you, the noob, can actually begin to cast aside your comfy sleeping bags, you know, your, your campfires and sounds of flipping kumbaya, and actually join the rest of us in some gunfights. And even if you're not new to the game and you're just struggling with your aim, this might still show you something that'll help you out. Something you didn't know about aiming. So if you've watched many of the how to improve your aim videos on YouTube, you'll know that they never seem to address the actual issues with aiming. And what I'm talking about is the correct technique. All they seem to do is talk about how to practice, what perks to use, what guns to use, and rubbish like that. Yeah, what sensitivity to use. And let me just say, people, because this must be one of the most common questions on aiming. Ooh, what sensitivity are you using? Sensitivity means nothing. It's a myth. It's something that affects your teeth, like when you eat ice cream. I guarantee you that I could play on a one sensitivity and go up head to head against a guy with a 20 sensitivity and still be competitive. But I'll explain more about sensitivity later on. So what I was saying was, is that there are very few YouTubers that actually touch on what's key to aiming, and that's the correct technique. And even those that talk about it don't quite get it right. So what I'm going to do is explain in detail what the correct technique is, and also give you some demonstrations to further just illustrate what it is I'm trying to say. But before I do that, I'll show you how most people are probably trying to aim. Then I'll talk you through the correct technique, and show you some demonstrations and at the end I'll put it all together uh, with some live com just to clearly show you you know what I'm talking about okay with that out the way now let's look at the correct technique and there are two key elements to aiming the first is this your crosshairs that's your sort of north south east west lines you can see up uh, in front of me right now many players will be running around with their crosshairs pointing in all directions you know looking up and looking down and so in, you know, instead of actually just aiming straight ahead at roughly where you anticipate your enemy's waistline to be. And that's the key here, making sure your crosshairs are always pointing roughly at where your enemy's waistline is gonna be. Now then the next thing is anticipation. If you're about to run around a corner, you should be expecting an enemy. Your crosshairs should be pointing to where you think your enemy's sort of waistline is gonna be. And then when you aim down the sights, the crosshairs will be at the correct height that's the middle of the enemy player. So the same applies to stairs, an example. If you're running up some stairs, don't point your crosshairs in front of you. Point them kind of 45 degrees up, or thereabouts, in the direction that you're running. So if you run into an enemy coming down the stairs, you'll actually shoot him in the body instead of shooting him in the big toe. Which now takes us on to the next key element in aiming, which is strafing. You might think, well, crosshairs are fine and I can get them at the correct height, but when I aim down the sight, my sight is not on the target. 
it's looking to the left or the right of the enemy. And then when I try to aim at the enemy, I can't lock onto him because he's moving and you know, most of my bullets miss. So here's the correct technique. And this will make some of you think, what the hell are you talking about? But when you aim down the sight, don't touch your right thumbstick. Only use the left thumbstick and strafe from left to right to move your sight onto the enemy player. That's your lateral movement, side side. So when your enemy moves, you strafe left as well, you know, using the left thumbstick. And when the enemy moves right, you strafe to the right. And when he's trying to evade your shots and he's shooting back at you, you move left, right, left, right, left, right, and so on. So to the enemy player, it looks like you're dancing across the screen in front of him. And now all of a sudden he's struggling to shoot you. And all of this is done without the need for the right thumbstick. You're only moving the left thumbstick from left to right. You're strafing. Now we'll talk about sensitivity and why it doesn't mean anything. And all I need you to do, or all I need to do really is ask you, which thumbstick do you use which is affected by sensitivity? And you're going to say the right thumbstick. That's the stick you use to look around, to turn around, to, to look up and down and so on. And that's why sensitivity is a myth. Because when you're strafing, you use the left thumbstick, not the right thumbstick. So sensitivity doesn't play a role. Don't misunderstand what I'm saying about sensitivity because it's important the more skilled you become. It does allow you to turn on somebody quickly and then you're in a position to strafe them and take them out or to make minor corrections, which you will of course you know, do the more skilled you become. But to someone starting out, sensitivity is null and void. Forget about it. Only focus on the left thumbstick and the strafing. Now that I've spoken about what the correct technique is, we can talk about a perk which will further enhance your strafing abilities. I'm talking about the Stalker perk. Absolutely essential when using an assault rifle and an LMG. Unless you're playing crank because then you're moving pretty fast anyway. So here's what I'm talking about as far as Stalker is concerned in some live com. Because this whole technique sort of relies on Stalker. Okay, so what happens if you don't have Stalker on? And I've got, got a class here without Stalker and you'll see here you know, it, it limits your ability to strafe left and right a, a fair amount okay so or you can see how oh damn it it's slow I mean you're still moving and if I had to look from an enemy point of view you're probably still moving enough all right but oh they are my target the problem is getting yourself on target Okay, because if you come around the corner and you're going, oh right, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Oh, there's the bin, I want to shoot it. And there, yeah, I shoot it. But I'm dead already because I took too fucking long to get there. And that's the problem. When you don't have Stalker, that's the issue you have. So I'm running around and I'm going, oh, and I'm slow and I'm trying to get on target, but I can't because I'm fucking running in quicksand. Um, not a problem with SMGs because you can move quickly with an SMG. LMG and assault rifles, you're just going to struggle. It's just too slow running side to side like this. And that's why you need Stalker on there. Right, let's do some shitty aiming here. So this is what most people are doing in a game. Ah, I can't fucking find the guy. Oh shit, what do I do? What do I do? And I'm dead. And I can't find him. I you know, luckily killed him. And we run around and we're thinking, oh, we've got to find somebody. Oh, there he is, there he is. Kill him, kill him, kill him. I managed to kill him, but I'm spraying all over the bloody place. So, uh, and I managed to kill him, so that's quite lucky. All right, so that's the bad aiming technique. Whereas, strafing, strafing. Enemy's dead. Enemy's dead. Strafing. This thing. There he is. Strafing. Bang. On target. Instantly. You see that? Instantly on target. Because you you use that strafing to adjust your aim down sights. Straight away you're on target. There's another one. See, I wasn't on target to begin with. But my strafing then put me onto target. And I was sorted. See, even then. Oh shit, doggy, I'm gonna die. Munched. There you have it, guys. Go check out the four videos on my channel. If you still want some more help, uh, give me a shout. I'm more than happy to help out. Otherwise, I'll spot you in the long grass.